That's just we'll a we'll snapshot. Just photoshopped. <laughs> right. Good evening. I'll Carter. call this meeting of the Cartersville City Council to order. If you'll please stand for our invocation and pledge. Please pray with me. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for this day, this time that we can come and do the business of Cartersville City. Thank you for those who are here with us tonight and be with those who weren't able to make it and uh, watch over us. And thank you for this week where we uh, expressed our love for others, our family and others. May we continue to do that throughout the year and not just on one day, but love one another as you have loved us. And it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please put your roll, please. Carrie Hodge, Ward 1. Here. Jay Stepp, Ward 2. Here. Carrie Rock, Ward 3. Here. Calvin Cooley, Ward 4. Gary Fox, Ward 5. Here. And Tafran, Ward 6. Thank you, Sam. First order of business is the approval of our council meeting minutes from February 2nd. And council, you've had an opportunity to look these minutes over. Now would be the time to make any corrections. Feel free to do so since Julie is not here. And uh, we'll talk bad about her since she's off enjoying a new grandbaby, right? Yes, she is. So uh, if there's no changes, then a motion is in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, Kate, by saying aye. 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 Minutes are approved unanimously. Mr. Morgan, start us off this evening, please, sir. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. This is a second reading of the ch proposed changes to the schedule of charges ordinance. Uh, we were asking to remove any advanced payment requirements for City of Cartersville schools, uh, City of Cartersville and Bartow County, and also a uh, language change on the flat convenience fee. Uh, we're asking for your approval. Okay. Any questions for Freddie on this item? If there are none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor and favor of saying aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries unanimously. Next item for you, please, Freddie. Uh, yes, sir. We, uh, as you know, October of 2021, we put out the RFP for the old police station at 178 West Main Street. Uh, we we're on, uh, we went to Womack Capital, uh, excuse me, McWater Capital Partners got it first. They opted out Womack Custom Homes along with Barry Henderson Properties. Uh, we went back to them as a second RFP bidder. Uh, we've got a contract in line with them. There's the uh, proposed uh, layout for that property. Uh, we're presenting that contract for you all tonight and asking for your approval. Thank you. And you mentioned in the work session um, that the contract does include the stipulations that the city had in um, in the original proposal yes, relative to uh, control over some of the design standards. Yes. And also time frame for. Uh, for construction yes sir yes sir uh, on the uh, on the design standards on that piece specifically it has to come back through the HPC and then it has to come back be before this body uh, to grant approval as they move forward they can't uh, materially change very much beyond that or you all have the permission to to, to deny those things okay. additionally when we look at the other pieces there is a uh, schedule of when they have to move forward and if they don't within this three-year time frame there's a reversion clause that we can buy the property back with any changes that they've done, but at the same price, it, they're sell, we're selling it to them. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from council? Mm -hmm. If there are none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor and keep it saying aye. Aye. Motion carries thank unanimously. You. Before we move on, I do wanna, you know, sometimes we move kind of quickly here. This is something that council has been working on for at least three years. I mean, it's been a priority of council to, um, to move on from some properties that were no longer uh, needed and that had a meter running on them. And uh, certainly this piece of property at 178 West Main Street uh, is one of the gateways into our city. And so uh, again, we just approved something that's pretty significant that's taken an awful lot of work from a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just want to thank staff and, and everyone with the, with the city on that. So uh, good job. Mr. Lovell, you're next. <coughs> uh, yes, Mayor. As got my agenda. Okay. It's an uh, authorization yes. representative for settlement purposes. Yeah. Uh, Mayor, as y'all all know, we are involved in the um, opioid um, lit litigation with all the other cities and counties and states in the uh, United States. And we've received um, the new settlement forms that are for CVS, Walgreens, 
Allegan, Walmart, and um, one other entity. And um, to sign those forms, we have to appoint a representative. So I'm asking you all to appoint the um, city manager as our representative to sign those forms via resolution. Um, as of now, we have no idea what, if anything, we will be getting um, as a result of this settlement whether it will be going to us directly or if it will be administered by the state. All that will be decided um, in the next couple of weeks. But regardless, we still have to sign the authorized forms to participate in what, whatever the result is. It is recommended for your approval. Thank you. Any discussion on this item? And if there's one, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Uh, all in favor of keep it saying aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously. Mr. Forsyth, you've got the next few here. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. Um, the first item is uh, wastewater capacity evaluation. Uh, due to projected demands from uh, several um, sewer customers of the Bartow County Water and Sewer System, which wholesale their sewer treatment to the city of Cartersville. Um, it's necessary for us to evaluate our treatment capacity, uh, both biological treatment capacity, our, our, our collection capacity in the pipes, and the uh, hydraulic capacity of the treatment plant. Uh, we've worked with Hazen and Sawyer, <coughs> excuse me, um, um, for a study to evaluate this. Uh, they've proposed a cost of $98,700. This includes the data collection and analysis the capacity assessment and a master plan update for our wastewater system. Um, I recommend this for your approval. This is not a budgeted item, but funds are available in the water department revenue. Okay, thank you. Questions for Sydney on this item? If there are none of motions in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Continue thank you. on, please. All right, uh, along the same lines and for the same reasons for a proposed uh, increase in water demand, um, we have, have conducted a study of, of our uh, system, our water supply system. Uh, you can see kind of the, the map of our system. And um, the west side of the distribution system for our water um, is in need of, I guess, an improvement um, to uh, increase the reliability and um, water quality on the west side, and in addition to being able to provide a, um, more capacity to that side, particularly to the Bartow County water system. Uh, there's a great demand on, on that side of our system. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we've contracted, or I'm sorry, not contracted yet. Uh, we've requested a, a quote for design um, uh, through the bid phase of this project from Hazen and Sawyer Engineers. Uh, they've proposed a cost of $547,000 for that design and bid. Uh, again, this is not a budgeted item, but funds are available in Water Department revenue for this. It's recommended for your approval. Thank you. Questions on this item? Is this within existing right-of-way? It is not. It is not. So yes, will there be some additional right-of-way that has to be? Yes, purchased? sir, there will be. And we will look at acquiring additional easements as necessary for other purposes as well. All right, thank you. Yes, sir, we have been directed to do so. <laughs> Any other questions? If there are none, motions in order. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor, decay by saying aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously. Final one for you, Sydney. Yes, sir. This is an electric actuator for our uh, number one primary lift screw, F1 gate. Um, it's failed and need re replacement. You see, our our first option there is to uh, use a big hand wheel, uh, which is very difficult, especially in in emergency operations, which is not as uncommon as it used to be. Um, we requested and received three bids. Uh, the low bidder is Chalmers and Kubek for $10,750. It is a stock item. This is a budgeted maintenance expense and recommended for your approval. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Uh, All in favor to keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Mr. Thank Mayor, as city's leaving, well, uh, you always have a hand out there for our groundbreaking, which will occur uh, in a couple weeks before the next council meeting on Monday, February 27th, and the public is invited at 2 o'clock for the new city of Carter Water Department off of Dr. Perry Road. Something that uh, Sydney and I are looking forward to because we, we talked about that again today. It's uh, they're, they're in an old house, 
Um, that, and, and basically, this is going to be consolidation of three departments into this facility, but we're looking forward to the public being there, and I know we're looking forward to this building that will be forthcoming and uh, ground groundbreaking on Monday, February 27th at 2 o'clock. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. While Michael's making his way up, Chair will entertain a motion to add three items to the agenda. Uh, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. We need to add five items to the agenda. So moved. Second. Motion is second. All in favor of Cape saying aye. Aye. Uh, yeah. We've got five items added. Good evening, Michael. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and Council. Uh, the guest system has requested, re requested bids for the purchase of an 8-inch valve to replace one to be used from stock. Uh, three bids were received in Consolidated Pipe of Lawrenceville, Georgia, submitted the low bid of $8,157. Uh, this is a budgeted item and Council's approval of this purchase is recommended. Any questions for Michael on this item? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. We'll go ahead with that added item with the MGAG bill, please. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the Municipal Gas Authority of Georgia provides a subscribed regulatory compliance service to the gas system annually and is paid monthly on a prorated basis. Uh, the Municipal Gas Authority also pays our American Public Gas Association dues on an annual basis. Uh, this invoice for $13,250.91 reflects the charges for these two services. Uh, this is a budget item and council's approval is recommended. Thank you. Any discussion? And if not, a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the it saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, Dan, do you want to handle? I'll, I'll start off with the uh, <coughs> added items, Mayor. Okay. The first one is, um, as y'all are all aware, we are part of a countywide safety plan for the provision of natural gas services within Bartow County. Um, with Atlanta Gas and Adairsville um, through the Public Service Commission that administers it. One of the properties is uh, LADS out there on New Harley Road that is currently in the Atlanta Gas uh, portion of the territory. Atlanta Gas has asked the city to take over that portion and because of that we have to enter into what's referred to as a joint consent agreement through the PSC which basically amends the plan to allow us to provide uh, service there. Um, all the parties are in favor of it, and I do recommend it for your approval. You will be authorizing the mayor to sign it. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the cabinet saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. The next item, Mayor, is um, we've received a any item notice from an individual named uh, Omar Hansborough. Um, city has reviewed that any light of notice and is recommending that the mayor and council uh, deny that and we will forward that denial on to him via the mail um, tomorrow okay questions comments or motions motion to approve second all in favor and okay by saying aye. Aye. aye aye motion carries unanimously next item uh, yes mayor the talent trust who we hired uh, the council approved a few weeks ago to work with us on a water engineer and a junior engineer um, actually, we were able to successfully get a, an engineer, uh, but uh, working with them, they've also, uh, Ann Trent has reached out to them about the building inspector at no additional cost uh, since they kind of, uh, as I shared with you, we received the resume from the individual for, that was hired as an engineer kind of right before we started with Talent Trust, but we'd like to use this firm uh, to help with us with the building inspector position for uh, upcoming retirement. Uh, we, we advertised for that position last fall, only had a few applicants. Hopefully this company can help us uh, successfully hire that individual we need to have in our building department. So I recommend approval of the addendum with Talent Trust. Thank you. Any discussion on this item? And if there's none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor and keep it saying aye. Aye. Uh, the motion carries unanimously. Next item, Mayor, is uh, received a resignation uh, request, a resignation from Tom Gillum, the Parks and Rec Director, and I asked the City Council to <coughs> approve, as the Council asked to approve director positions, I ask you to accept that resignation, and at the same time, I would like to appoint James Gordy, um, who retired from us several years ago as the Interim Parks and Recreation Director with effective date of tomorrow, February 17th. He will step in and help uh, me work through that uh, with the Parks and Rec Department as we uh, advertise and successfully find a new director for us. Thank you. Any discussion? Chair will intend a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the gate saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. <clears throat> 
Save the best for last like we always do, Tom. Honorable Mayor and Council, we will be looking at the December 2022 and comparing to December 2020, 2021. And the general fund revenues increased over last year by $962,000. Um, I'm sorry, let me back up, let me start over. The revenues increased over last year in the general fund by $5.8 million. And the expenses increased by $962,000. Two areas of revenues that I monitor on a monthly basis are the local option sales tax, have an increase there of about $992,000. And building permits and inspections uh, fees have an increase there of about $789,000. And the water and sewer fund, revenues increased over last December by $2.1 million. Expenses decreased by $789,000. This is due to increased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, decreased debt service expenses, decreased capital expenses, and increased transfers to the general fund. And the gas fund, Revenues increased over last year by $9.8 million. Expenses increased by $7.8 million. This is due to decreased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, increased cost of purchase gas, increased capital expenses, and increased in transfers to the general fund. In the electric fund, revenues increased over last year by $3.4 million. Expenses increased by $3.2 million. This is due to increased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, increased cost of purchase of electricity, increased capital expenses, and increased transfers to the general fund. Stormwater fund, revenues increased over last year by $12,000. Expenses increased by about $8,000. This is due to increased personnel expenses and decreased operating expenses. Solid waste fund, revenues increased there uh, by $205,000. And expenses increased by $16,000. This is due to increased personnel expenses and decreased operating expenses. And finally, in the fiber optics fund, revenues increased over last December by a little over a million dollars, while the expenses increased by $104,000. This is due to increased personnel expenses, decreased operating expenses, increased capital expenses, decreased de debt service expenses, and increases to the trans increases, increased transfers to the general fund. Our cash position for the month of December, total unrestricted cash decreased and also total restricted cash decreased. In the SPLOS funds, uh, balance of 2003 SPLOS is $14,410.69. <coughs> SPLOS 2014 balance is $231,991.10. SPLOS 2020 account is $8,106,755.56. That is my report for the evening. Thank you. Just a couple things to point out. Obviously, uh, we're on a fiscal year, July 1 through June 30, so we're at the midway point, what Tom has presented this evening. But if you look across that, uh, put that back up there, Logan, you can see where revenues and most of the funds um, six months into the year are past the 50% mark. But I'll point out, as the mayor's pointing out every month, you look at the gas and electric. So we're paying our gas expenditures at 69% of the year and electric at 52%. That's because our rates, what we buy them from, are higher than you know normal. And then obviously revenue, we try to make sure that we break even or have a little profit in those funds. But you can see those two departments are the only ones over the 50% on expenditures. And that's being basically driven from electric cost of electricity and cost of natural gas. All the other funds through the fiscal year are less than 50% expenditures, revenues above 50%, which is good. Um, appreciate Tom and your staff and what you're doing to make sure that we're fiscally balanced and that's what these numbers show throughout the year where every fund is in a profit segment, segment through the year. We'll and I noticed <clears throat> at the water and sewer fund we have a decrease of over 1.3 million. What, what is that exactly on the capital expenses? What did we do last year that we didn't do? We had basically had bond costs. Basically, a lot of construction that Sydney has gone through a bond project, uh -huh. and that's those bond funds are you know, he's you know, like right now the um, sludge farm or lagoon is starting to be worked on. But last year, yes. he had several projects ongoing, and those <coughs> that's why there's some expenses less this year than last year. He's finished up a lot of those uh, bond expenditures. Yeah. Any other questions for the, fin on the financial report? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there any other business that needs to come before council this evening? Seeing none, Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Go throw yeah. curveballs at the 10-year-olds. Dude. <laughs> 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 <laughs>